Hi, brothers and sisters. It's your brother Raha Shalah from the tribe of Joseph. And um, I uh, checked my Facebook messages and a um, sister of ours left me some verses that I, I really needed. I wanted to ask her, like, what made you send them? But I'm kind of done asking people that, you know, it's it's more, hey, they must have been led to. Sometimes they're just like, I don't know, I just sent it, but it, it means so much to me especially with what's going on, it'll fit perfectly. Um, since I believe in God, not coincidence, luck, or odds, I don't believe in all that, I believe in God, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's it's amazing. But one of the, it was from Galatians, and um, the other part I'm just leaving out, because sometimes when uh, God sends you a revelation, you'd have to go back so far to get people to understand why it meant so much to you, because it may not mean anything to anybody else, but that's okay. You know, that's how God works with everybody. Not everything God does for us is for anyone to know or to try to explain miracles he may do for you and things like that. Um, you know, I used to want to tell everybody everything, and then they kind in there they were true believers of Jesus Christ, but they, you know, they would say, oh, amen, glory to God. But you could tell in their eyes, they're like, I, I don't see the connection. Not that they're saying you're lying about it, but it's just, it didn't wow them. And you were kind of waiting for this, like, wow, but they, it's too much to explain. So some of the things God does for us isn't for the world to know. But um, there was one part and um, it took me back to when I did a video about finding rest in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ is the Sabbath. And I was saying, if you're led by Jesus Christ, you're you, you know, it's, it's, it, you're not, um, uh, held to, uh, the traditions of man, you know, and I had given examples. Well, you can go to that video. It's called fine rest and Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ. He's the Sabbath. But, um, in that I was explaining that and I brought up how we had the picking corn on the Sabbath because they were being led by Jesus Christ. They were doing the will of the Father through him. So when the Pharisees got upset about that, you know, that's exactly what he said to them, you know. And then I remember, like, because this is what happens to me. Sometimes I'll say things and I'm like, did I ever even read that? Which I'm sure I read it, heard it on an audio or saw it, but I won't remember. And I remember when I made that video, I was like, wow, you know, that was real powerful. You know, I had seen a lot of it. But then I remember thinking, the, the led by the spirit thing and not really understanding how I had mentioned that because it kind of just rolls off. I do one take, send the video out. That's it. So I might review it before I upload it, but I upload it. That's why, you know, there's mistakes in my stuff. That's my flesh, you know, not allowing the Holy Spirit to come out, but that's what I'm working on. And um, <clears throat> she sent it to me and I, that's the first thing I thought of. I was like, wow, you know, it's, it's amazing how if you stay in scripture and stay listening, that it'll come out of you and you don't have to think about it. And it was Galatians, uh, let me see, Galatians, what chapter? Chapter five, verse 18. And, you know, I read the other stuff that she sent for me, but, you know, the Lord laid it on my heart that was for me. And, you know, I could explain it, but, it was for me, but it says, but if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. And that'll help people understand too. With another video, I said, some people think I'm rejecting Paul. I'm not rejecting Paul and I'm almost hundred percent sure. Don't quote me. Paul wrote Galatians. I'm not to my memory and stuff's not good. But when the Holy Spirit comes out, you would think I had perfect memory if I do everything according to God's will. But so I'm pretty sure I saw that somewhere. Someone told me it or I researched it or looked into it that Paul wrote Galatians. But wow, you know, it, it just wrapped it all together for me. It really did. It was just and it gave me such understanding that I couldn't even explain right now. It's not that when you're under the Holy Spirit, you can do anything you want and say, oh, I'm not held to those laws. No, because we have free will. But once you get wisdom, knowledge and understanding of our father's will or you know what doing the will of our lord is you're under his will 
You're no longer under your will. You have given up your free will to do the will of the Father. Therefore, you are under no law. You're not under the law. Because the will of the Father is not even to break his own law. So you're not under the law. And it's it's like even right now, I'm trying to like, hey, wait, did I miss a dot? But I just wanted to share that. And, um, you know, pray for me and the crew I'm going out to work with. If you're from the United States, you know the hurricane up in North Carolina where um, we're headed out there. And, you know, just uh, give us prayers. Keep us in your thoughts and in your hearts. Um, you know, we, we repair things. It's emergency response. So um, I'll be gone for probably two to three weeks. So, you know, I don't I don't have to pack much. I'll probably bring a Bible, a notebook, some clothes and a, and a pen just in case I got to write things. But um, I, I won't be online at all. I'm going to um, take the time to kind of be out there and learn lessons throughout the whole time of where I could have did this, where I could have been right. And, you know take that time to do that but um i love you brothers and sisters and uh god willing i'll make another video